The quickest and easiest way to create a presentation is to start with a template. I'm going to show you how to create a presentation using our most popular template, the full screen image template. The steps I'm going to walk you through in this video can be followed to customize any template in the library. First, I'm going to click on the full screen image template to get started. The template has opened in the presentation editor. This is the area where you will customize the template. All templates open with a default name. For this one, the default name is Copy of Simple Image. You can change the name of the template to reflect the type of presentation that you are creating to make it easier for you and your team to locate it later. The first thing you'll want to do is rename the template. To rename it, you can click the Settings icon or just click on the presentation name to open the Presentation Properties dialog. In the Name field, I'm going to type a new name for this presentation. I'm creating a presentation for a flower shop, so I'm going to name it Products because it's going to contain images of the various products my shop sells. The resolution for this presentation is set to 1920 by 1080, which is a standard resolution for most displays and is the resolution of the display that I'm going to use, so I can leave it as is. If I were using a display with a smaller or larger resolution, I would want to change that here before I start customizing the template. Because I'm not going to make any other changes, I'll click Apply to apply the name change that I made. Now my presentation is named Products. The template contains one placeholder that's labeled Image-Slideshow. You can click the placeholder name to see the placeholder content. The placeholder contains a playlist of five full screen images that you can easily replace with images of your own. In the template, they are labeled first image, second image, third image, etc. Each of these contains one image, and you will customize them one by one. To customize the first image, click on its name to open the Image Settings dialog. To replace the default image with one of my own images, I click Single Image. If you are new to Rise Vision and haven't already set it up, you will be prompted to start a free trial for Rise Storage. This will allow you to upload your image files to Rise Vision Storage, making them accessible for you to use in a presentation. So click Start Your Free Trial. Once you've activated storage, click Upload Files to upload the image you want to use. I'm going to locate the image file that I want to use on my computer and double click on it to upload it. Now that the upload is complete, I'm going to click the file I uploaded to select it. Now I click Save to save that image. The image I just uploaded is now showing in the presentation editor. If I want to, I can change the name of the image widget placeholder to reflect the name of the image. I'm going to change the name of first image to Bridal Bouquets, so I know which image this is at a glance. I'm going to click the duration icon next to first image. In the name field, I'm going to rename this Bridal Bouquets and click apply to save. Now I'm ready to customize the second image with one of my own. I click on the name second image, then I select single image to open rise storage. I click Upload Files to locate the image file I want to use on my computer, and double-click it to upload. I then select the image that I just uploaded, and I save it. The second image has been replaced, but you can't see it in the editor because it's underneath the first image. So to ensure that it updated properly, you can click the name Second Image, then click the Preview File button, and you'll see that the image has been replaced with the new image uploaded. I should rename this image widget so I know which one it is. I click the duration icon next to second image. Then in the name field, I type carnations. I click apply to save. Now I'm going to repeat this process for the remaining three images. Each image in the presentation will show for the duration it was assigned, which, in this template, is 8 seconds for the first image and 5 seconds for the other four. 
If you'd like to change the amount of time that an image would appear, click the duration icon next to its name, then, in the duration field, type the amount of time you would like it to display. Click apply to save. Now that I've completed the customization of my template, I want to see what it'll look like on a display. If I click the save and preview button, a new tab in my browser will load, loading a preview of this presentation. I'll click the Minimize button on the status bar to get a full view of what my presentation is going to look like on my display. At this point, I want to verify that the images in the presentation look good. Are they sized and positioned correctly? Does the duration for each image need to be increased or decreased? Now that I'm done previewing, I can close this tab to return to the editor. Once back in the editor, you'll see this message asking you to add a display. For now, we can click Maybe Later. We'll follow up on this in our next video. Now you should be ready to customize the full screen image template with your own content. For step-by-step -step instructions on the process that I just showed you, visit the Getting Started section of our Help Center. Now that you've created a presentation, your next step is to add a display. Be sure to watch the next video in our Getting Started series, titled, Add a Display.